Hello and welcome to News Analytica. I am Afumi Ayalu and this is your news analysis for the day. Africa shouldn't miss out on the fourth industrial revolution. The fourth industrial revolution is here. The World Economic Forum has been heralding its beginning since 2016. Klaus Schwab, the founder and executive chairman of the World Economic Forum says, we stand on the brink of a technological revolution that will fundamentally alter the way we live, work and relate to one another. The fourth industrial revolution represents a fundamental change in the way people create, exchange and distribute value. It is a technological shift merging the physical, digital and biological worlds into one. Africa has missed out on the first three industrial revolutions, it shouldn't miss out on the fourth. Today's news analysis will examine the fourth industrial revolution and the lessons learned from the previous three. Stay with us. What is the fourth industrial revolution? Industrial revolutions occur throughout history as a result of a specific disruptive technology that alter the way people live and interact with the world at the time. Professor Klaus Schaub is one of the main proponents of the fourth industrial revolution. In 2016, he published a book by the same title in which he argued that digital innovations are transforming how people live, work, and relate to one another. The fourth industrial revolution is an industry based on smart factories where new technologies such as the Internet of Things, cloud computing and analytics, artificial intelligence, robotics, augmented reality, or machine learning are integrated into production facilities and in all operations. In simple terms, it is the idea of smart factories in which machines are augmented with web connectivity and connected to a system that can visualize the entire production chain and make decisions on its own. The next 20 years will see more change than the previous 200 years combined as a result of artificial intelligence, robotics, blockchains, and other technological advancements. What does this mean for Africa? The fourth industrial revolution has ushered a new era of economic disruption with uncertain socio-economic consequences for Africa. As the world enters this new phase, the challenge for Africa is providing its youth with the knowledge and skills needed for the emerging world of work. 20% of the world's under-25 population live in Africa. By 2030, the working age population in Africa will reach 600 million. This can be a great asset if leaders are quick to adopt the right education, training and job creation policies. According to the African Center for Economic Transformation, the key to unlocking Africa's potential is a better educated and more highly skilled workforce. The list of Africa's challenges is long. The focus, therefore, must be on the strategies, planning and implementation that will transform economies and create decent jobs. Africa's approach to the future of work has to begin with current realities. Africa's youth are an advantage and if left unmanaged, a time bomb. At current trends, nearly half of the young people will be unemployed, discouraged and economically inactive by 2025. It is therefore a race against time for Africa to prepare for the fast approaching technological revolution. At the 2022 annual Adebayo Adede lecture, Professor Paul Tian Bezeleza, Associate Provost and North Star Distinguished Professor at Kays Western Reserve University said, Africa must promote digitalization, rethink capital expenditure, and develop holistic online curriculum system to achieve its economic digital transformation. We must walk the talk on constructing integrated, inclusive, innovative, and sustainable developmental institutions. The professor added, Africa was marginalized in previous three industrial revolutions, and the continent should ensure it's not left behind in the fourth industrial revolution. Lessons from the past. There have been three consecutive industrial revolutions in the last 300 years. The mechanics of the steam engine brought about the first industrial revolution at the end of the 18th century. The assembly line and the use of electricity, oil and gas brought about the second industrial revolution around 1870s. The third industrial revolution, which began in 1969, was based on the use of electronics and computers to support automated production. Africa missed out on all three of these revolutions and as a consequence, it was colonized and economically marginalized for almost 200 years. The continent is still trying to catch up to the last three even as the world moves on to the fourth. The fundamental structures of African economies have remained the same as in colonial times. In fact, dependency on primary commodity production and export has increased. The 2020 UN IDEO report titled Industrializing in the Digital Age refers to the digital divide within which the revolution is occurring. 
According to this report, only 10 nations account for 90% of all worldwide patents and none of them are African nations. Africans might not have been aware of nor prepared for the first three industrial revolutions, but there's no excuse not to be prepared for the fourth. And the right beginnings for African countries toward that goal are laid in funding high-level STEM skills in their future workforces. The continent needs to learn from the mistakes of the past to create a better future by investing in the present. This was our news analysis for the day and thank you very much for staying with us.